everybody, I'm Ashleen Caino from the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily taroscope forecast for Tuesday the 3rd of April. So let's have a look at your cards for today. We have the Two of Air, we have the Eight of Earth, and the Six of Water. All right, so general overview of the energy for today. Um, definitely a sense of a problem that needs addressed. Maybe um, there's some kind of like confliction going on within you or with someone else and a need to really go within and do research to kind of resolve the problem. So let's really look at this. The Two of Air, it says, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So you can see very strongly in the imagery here, the two unicorns and they're like headlocked um, with their horns. And so it's a sense of feeling really stuck and the energy that is pushing back against you is like equally as strong and no one's winning or getting their point across. So this is either literally a clash with someone else, two people butting heads, um, trying to really get their opinion across, no one's wavering, both standing hard in their ground. And so this is saying that this can't continue and you need to address the problem pretty much or in itself it's saying you may just be having an issue going on in your life and you're kind of treading water and keeping going and acting as if there is no problem and burying your head in the sand a little bit but it's saying that this isn't going to go away without being addressed so the aid of earth comes in here because it's saying skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school. What I really feel this is saying is this is a time of turning inward because whenever we decide to study or learn anything, we have to withdraw from the world and just kind of go into our inner world and learn stuff, right? So I feel this is saying, one, take time out to yourself to really go into your own inner world. Two, take some time to do research on the issue that's going on. So whether it's like budding heads over finances or if it's about the path you want to go down with your career this is about doing more research to see what it entails so that you can actually lay out step by step how to make this change and present that change to the other party or at least get yourself out of this problem that you're stuck in that maybe you're pretending there isn't a problem with Either way, this is a sense of definitely doing some kind of research, learning something new that's really going to help shift the energy and bring like more ideas to the forefront so that you can make the changes because it feels like this has been um, a problem, a concern, something of frustration and this is the opportunity to resolve it now but it's by taking that initiative to go off and do the research and find the solutions. So here we've got the six of water and it's saying memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. And so this is a number of things. Perhaps like your head is buried in the sand over a situation because maybe in the past problems got resolved a different way. Maybe you just had to turn to mommy or daddy for money or maybe this is all coming up due to patterns of your past. Like maybe you're not handling your money very well because that's kind of always been the way. Or perhaps you're just looking back at life and wishing it were different. Whatever it is, this is about kind of looking backwards and switching your focus so that you're not really looking back now. That's not helping you resolve the issue. The issue is you need to be looking in the now and looking forward where you wanna go and working out that way forward. Looking back really isn't helping. And in fact, that could be part of the issue here is that you're not really living in the now. You're sort of living in a way that you used to be. And it's like, look, in order to move forward, you have to live in the here and now and do some research on the pathway forward so that you can move forward. Okay, so let's look at the angel message for today. Cut your cords. Um, this says, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stems from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So again, it feels like whatever is arising here with these situations, it's saying that this is coming down to something in the past that is holding you back. And in order to move forward, you really have to make that conscious decision of letting it go, working through it. So call upon your guides, your angels, God, universe, whatever you you believe in or just go and do the research on how to truly break patterns once and for all and move forward if it's financial go get the book by Dave Ramsey the total money makeover 
It'll teach you how to manage your finances correctly and get yourself out of debt, out of a hole, so you actually have money to save. Um, there's so much research, and I mean, this is the age of being able to find anything with Google, YouTube, or Pinterest, right? So um, there's so much you can do to move forward, but you have to make that conscious effort first to stop looking back or stop repeating those past issues to let them go once and for all. And then the affirmation for the day says, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless I become. So this is really saying, make sure your attention, intention and attention is going to the right place. Again, this is about looking into the now, looking forward, not looking back anymore, kind of wishing things were the way they were or whatever it was, move forward, okay? Lean into faith and become fearless and that will free you from the destructive patterns that you may be caught in now. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's taroscope. Please like, share, tag a friend or subscribe and I look forward to bringing your taroscope tomorrow. Bye.